Hey guys, today's story is going to be about a Blade Singer. I recently joined a campaign through Roll20, really wanting to play a specific character that I had recently made. A paladin who was very much meant to be a silent hero type. The type who would do good things and save people, but never taking any credit or trying to sway people to do the right thing. Anyways, I made sure to ask the DM about the players and their characters, and he told me that my character seemed like he would fit the party pretty well. So, I didn't make any changes, and I was pumped for session one. A few minutes in, my PC, along with another new player, were introduced to the game. Everyone seemed amicable enough, and I specifically enjoyed a grung monk named Robert who could only communicate by saying his name. Everyone, except one player, who was running late. We went to a dungeon and started looking around, and as soon as he joined, he aggressively took charge, and didn't apologize for being late or anything. The new guy and I never even got a chance to introduce ourselves. He brushed us off whenever we tried RPing with him, and talked down to us constantly. Jokingly, I asked out of character if his PC was always like this, and he said, Yeah, pretty much, lol, to which everyone agreed. As we were walking through a dungeon crawl, Will just started telling the DM where the party was going, following him and refusing to listen to what anyone else had to say. I piped up and said that we were a group, so it should at least be democratic and fair. And he scoffed and got all huffy, talking to us like children, asking us where we would like to go. My character ignored the tone, and led the group who all agreed that they wanted to go another way. And as I reached a door, I tried to listen to the other side. But before I could even roll, Will belt out that he kicked down the door, and the DM went with it. I am frustrated at this point, but figure at some point that he'll kick down the wrong door and the behavior would stop. Spoiler alert, it didn't. And eventually, we ended the session after clearing the dungeon. I was a bit frustrated, but nevertheless hoping that maybe the guy was just having an off day. The next session came around and we needed to go into an abandoned town to slay a green dragon that was terrorizing the countryside. Great, I thought. I love fighting dragons. And we headed out. We reached the town and Will was back to the same behavior, kicking down doors without checking and commanding folks around. Who, I might add, are too socially awkward, or have dealt with this for too long, that they think that it's normal. But this time, I wasn't just going to go along with it. We eventually reached a house in this town that looked intact, with signs warning of a dragon and dangerous creatures about, as well as a sign that just said, Go on fishing, on the front. So, what do you think Will does? Will kicked down the door, using the excuse, Well, he's in a town and a dragon is in it. He must be evil. Now, this would be fine if it wasn't for a blatant lie from the player, who then immediately started ransacking the place, searching for valuables. My paladin obviously stepped in, saying that he couldn't just break down someone's door and steal their things. He ignored my PC, so I grappled him to try to remove him from the residence. And then, the owner of the house came home and it turned out that he was a super chill old druid who had been trying to keep the town safe. My character and the rest of the party apologized for Will, who was continuing to be rude to the man, saying that he's boring, and then left without the party. We once again apologized and thanked him for the information that he gave us on the dragon. The party all agreed it would be best to face the dragon at full strength, so we wished to head there first. Everyone, again, except for Will. Will wanted to search every building in town before the dragon fight. Out of character, the DM had said that there would be a magic item in the town. He insisted and wouldn't budge on the issue, just saying that he walked to the next building and kicked the door down. But the party decided that they didn't want to follow him. So my character said, Curse him. Let him go off on his foolish errands alone. We'll face the dragon without him. And so we did. Unfortunately, and to my own shock, 
The DM decided to follow Will by himself, instead of the majority of the party, and, unfortunately, Will the Bladesinger had been given OP magic items and stats, making him incredibly strong, and the encounters were designed for level 3s. We were level 6. And he killed every single thing, single-handedly, without using a spell slot. And unfortunately, by the time that he was done, the DM said that he had run out of time. But right before that, he had given Will the magic item that he had been told about, which was probably an attempt to get him to come back to the party. And as soon as the session ended, Will then lectured the group, and I quote, I'm not sorry that I made all of you wait. I got this magic item. You guys should have just come with me even though I obviously don't need any of you. At that point, I left the call. Overall, just frustrated with the night. I DM'd the GM about my frustrations, who said that there would be consequences for the player, but also implied that there would be as well for the whole party. It's been a week, and we're supposed to meet again tonight. I really don't want to deal with another night with this player, but I love my PC, and the other players, and the story and DM. Since I'm new, I'm worried I'll seem like a homewrecker if I bring this issue to the other players. Thoughts? I'm both frustrated by the player's actions and also how the DM is handling it. I feel like maybe I could talk to the other players at the table. I don't know. Well, whether or not you are a new player, I definitely think that you should bring this up. This guy definitely has a case of main characteritis. And it's not a very small one. It's gone terminal. And a big issue is, is that the DM is playing right along with it. I don't know how big of friends that the DM and this player are, but it really seems like those two are playing their own thing while the rest of the party is wanting to do something else. If that's what the DM and that player want to do, they don't need three or four other players there to basically act as NPCs. You can definitely do D&D &D with only two people. Worst comes to worst, if bringing this up doesn't work, then maybe try to form a group out of the other players and try to find someone else to DM or take up the reins yourself. The way I'm seeing it, it's either you leave or you stay and try to talk to the DM and this player about this and try to make this change, or you try and get a new group, with or without a couple of these other players that you like. Or everything I just said in this outro is more or less superfluous because upon looking through a couple of the OP's comments, I found this particular one. Apparently, the trash took itself out. So, all's well that ends well. But, in any case, that's the end of this story. Hope you enjoyed, and, as always, have a good one. <laughs>